The Neutrino Ettore Majorana Observatory NEMO experiment is an international collaboration of scientists searching for neutrinoless double beta decay The collaboration has been active since 1989. Observation of zero NBB would indicate neutrinos are Majorana particles and could be used to measure the neutrino mass. It is located in the Modane Underground Laboratory (LSM) in the Fragus Road Tunnel. The experiment has, as of 2018, had three detectors: NEMO-1, NEMO-2, NEMO-3, and a demonstrator module of SuperNEMO detector, and is planning, as of 2018, to construct a new detector SuperNEMO. The NEMO-1 and NEMO-2 prototype detectors were used until 1997. Latest experiment NEMO-3 was under design and construction from 1994 onwards, took data from January 2003 to January 2011 and the final data analysis was published in 2018. The NEMO-2 and NEMO-3 detectors produced measurements for double neutrino decays and limits for neutrinoless double beta decay for a number of elements, such as molybdenum-100 and selenium-82. These double beta decay times are important contributions to understanding the nucleus and are needed inputs for neutrinoless decay studies, which constrain neutrino mass. The NEMO collaboration remains active and is constructing an improved SuperNEMO detector. Planning of SuperNEMO and commissioning of SuperNEMO demonstrator module is ongoing as of 2019. Experiment Other zero NBB experiments use the same material for the source of double beta decays and the detector. This allows a large mass of source material to be used and thereby maximizes the sensitivity of the experiment, but limits its flexibility. NEMO takes a different approach, using thin foils of source material surrounded by a separate tracking calorimeter. This allows the use of any source material which can be formed into a thin foil. Also, because its tracking is more accurate, it can reliably detect if two electrons come from the same place, thereby reducing false detections of double beta decays. The experiment has a cylindrical shape with 20 sectors that contain different isotopes in the form of thin foils with a total surface of about 20 square meters. The main isotopes used for the neutrinoless double beta decay search are about 7 kg of enriched molybdenum-100 and about 1 kg of selenium-82. The experiment also contains smaller amounts of cadmium-116, neodymium-150, zirconium-96 and calcium-48 foils. Tellurium and copper foils are used for background measurements. A tracking detector on each side of the foil detects electrons and positrons from the double beta decay. They are identified by their curvature in a magnetic field and particle energy is measured in a calorimeter. In zero NBB, the sum of the electron and positron energies will be the Q value released in double beta decay. For standard double beta decay the neutrinos, which cannot be observed directly, reduce the detected energy. Topic results Neutrinoless double beta decay zero NBB has not been observed in five years of data taking and limits have been set for several isotopes. NEMO-2 reported zero NBB limits for Majoran models of 100 MO, 116 CD, 82 SHE and 96 ZR. NEMO-3 reported precision 2 NBB half lives for its seven isotopes and zero NBB limits for 96 ZR, 48 CA, 150 ND at neutrino 08. NEMO-3 reported 2 NBB and more zero NBB limits at SUSY 08. In 2014, NEMO-3 reported a 47 kg YC Search for zero NBB of molybdenum 100 yielded T1 half greater than 1.1 times 1024 years. This can be translated into an upper limit on the effective neutrino mass. MV Nemo highest zero NBB decay lower limits. The 96 ZR decay is particularly relevant because of its high Q and use in searches for time dependence of the physical constants. Geochemical measurements of zirconium silicate allow comparison of its historic and present rates, by extracting the resultant 96 mo. The final results of NEMO-3 were published in 2018. <laughs> SuperNEMO 
A next generation experiment, SuperNemo, is under construction. It is based on technology used by the NEMO 3 experiment, but will be more than a factor of 10 bigger. The SuperNemo detector will consist of 20 modules each containing approximately 5 kg of enriched double beta decay emitting isotope in the form of a thin foil. The installation of a first module using selenium 82 in the LSM is underway, with data taking expected in the second half of 2015. As of 2019, the commissioning of the SuperNemo demonstration module, basically one of the 20 modulus of the whole SuperNemo, is underway, and the collaboration continues to plan to construct the whole 20 module SuperNemo detector. <laughs> 